Yo, what up, Love Quest Nation? This is Pastor Terrence here. Listen, we are getting ready to take on our biggest faith project ever, and we are inviting you to go on the quest with us. Welcome to the Remnant Project. Well, the Remnant Project simply is this, that we we all, in God's eyes, are nothing but remnants here on earth of, um, we're incomplete, we're little pieces that are, are left over from hurt, from sin, from pain. Um, we're in a community, Surrey, Wally, City Center, um, where there's a lot of people and places that have been looked over, walked over, and God is calling us to a community that has been overlooked, uh, that has been trashed, and he wants to bring his glory into this community. And so the Remnant Project is just that, a group of people who have been saved by grace, who are about to, about to do the same thing, extend grace into it, um, because there's so much development happening around the community, but no community is fully developed or reconciled to its beauty um, without the glory of God being in the midst of it. For three years or so, we've been in Strathcona, we've had our hub, we've had a space that we've rented for Sunday service. Uh, I think it's great stewardship to consolidate our spaces. We need to be in one location that simplifies um, where people can find us. We need to be in one space. It saves gas, it saves, uh, it saves us from confusion, and we need to be together on a day-to-day -day basis. And we are a seven-day-a-week church. We're not just a Sunday church, and then during the week we'll meet at a cafe. We need a space that we can dedicate to God. Our office space is the Lord's. Our creative hub is the Lord's. Our youth center is the Lord's. Our worship center is the Lord's. And uh, we're consolidating not only for convenience and stewardship, but we're consolidating so God can have a space that is all his and his children's. For, for those that don't know, Wally is a very historic uh, community, not always had the greatest reputation. That speaks for itself. But there are so many condos being developed around here. UBC just brought property down the street. SFU is right across the street. There is SkyTrain right behind us. BC Lions facility is right around the corner. And the diversity to reach the globe this is the hottest spot for a global hub. We are in the center of it, but it's putting us smack in the middle of an up and coming city center that will be, I believe, the top uh, global hub in Canada, or shall I just say uh, uh, British Columbia, it will be the top global hub. And if you know LoveQuest, God's doing a big thing and we're not afraid of it. As much as Surrey is blowing up, I believe LoveQuest is blowing up with Surrey right alongside of it. Absolutely, we'll have the worship center, the youth center and the creative hub or creative center. What we're sitting in right now is the worship center, which would not only uh, consist of a sanctuary that will be multi-purpose. It will not just be for only for church services. It will be for weddings. It will be for different events. It will be for fundraisers if different organizations want to use it. So this will be created to be a multi-purpose space. We will have a lobby that is a blend of a cafe and a co-work space during the week where people can come. That's a part of our community come and work together, meet together. Entrepreneurs within our community can find a quiet workspace, a very stimulating, creative workspace. And then right next door is our youth center. Uh, we will have some partners working with us that will provide after school programs, helping kids, you know, prepare for driver's license, job interviews, uh, having cafe barista skills. We'll be using some of that and our children's church will be over there as well. And then our creative hub, we record music, we write music. We want to not only be a service for our community, but we'll want to have a state-of-the-art studio where we have in-house engineers that can record albums for people that are part of this church or not a part of this church. It will also have a smaller rehearsal studio for smaller bands and, and groups, as well as a space where we can be creative and do filming. We could do things with green screen, white screen, black screen, doesn't matter. And we can have a podcast spot where we can record in an isolated booth. This is this is the beginning of our dream. It's gonna get bigger, but this is where we're starting. I'm super excited about this uh, Remnant project. And what I'm even more excited about is presenting you the opportunity for us to partner with God. 
Uh, God is doing amazing things. You could check our fruit. He has changed lives. He has reconciled families. He has uh, gotten people off of drugs and alcohol. Our record precedes us. We need your financial partnership. What we're doing is we're raising $600,000, two phases, 300 grand a piece. And I am believing as you do partner with us that God is going to not only save your household and impact your business ventures and your dreams, but I am praying for a hundred fold return on your seed. Whenever God is presenting you an opportunity to give, he has something in mind to present something into your life. As you're sowing into his, his project, he's, he's raising up someone to sow into yours. And we are good ground. And I believe you are good ground too. And so, man, I promise you, he's gonna bless your socks off because he's already blessed ours. Get your love fixed, man. Thank you.